When it comes to TikTok, your niche is the biggest decision that you'll ever make. A good niche can lead to thousands of dollars while a bad one can give you views like this. It's essential that when you start, you identify a good niche and also learn how to make viral content for it. In this video, we're going to do just that. I'm going to show you a really good viral niche and then I'll show you exactly how to script, generate, animate, and edit content in this niche. By the end of this video, you'll have your first viral video ready to post. So look at this TikTok account. They're in the horror niche and have grown to over 1.1 million followers. If we scroll down, we can see that all their videos have hundreds of thousands, if not millions of views. I'll play you one of their videos so you get a full idea of what we're making. We're the reason you should not come to Alaska. Hello, my name is Urban. I am one of the Ursinrat people. We live deep in the mountains of Yupik territory. All right, I'm guessing now you get the idea of the niche. No more talking, let's get to work. In this video's description, you can find a Google Doc full of everything that we're going to use in this video, so open it up. Also in this video description is a link to my school community. If you guys are stuck at 200 views, then this is the place for you. The first thing we need to do is make sure our account is eligible for the TikTok creativity program. The program is only in a few select regions, but if you're outside these regions, don't worry. I have accounts for sale in this video's description. The first thing we need to do is come up with some video ideas. To do this, I'm going to head to GPT. To begin, I'm going to ask the AI for a list of 10 real life horror stories. Using ChatGPT means we can come up with video ideas every single day. As you can say, the AI is generating us a list of horror stories that we can use. That's 10 videos right there. For this video example, I'm going to choose the Bell Witch Haunting. So I'm going to copy it, paste it back into AI, and ask the AI to generate a script from the witch's POV. This exact prompt will be in the Google Doc for you to copy over if you want to use it. The script is being generated, but it's too long, so I'm going to ask the AI to shorten it to 1,000 characters. This is because 1,000 characters is the exact amount we need to generate a one-minute video. Once your script is done, copy at, and we can really quickly generate our voiceover. Once you want 11 labs, you want to head to the voice library. Once here, you want to find a voice that's relevant to your character. So as mine is a witch, I will be looking for a creepy girl voice. Once you have one, hit add and then hit use. This will take you back to the speech tab. Once you're here, you want to make sure your voice is selected. If it is, you want to paste in the script that we got from ChatGPT. Once everything is in place, hit generate. Once Eleven Labs has done its thing, download the voiceover and we can move over to the next step. Next thing we want to do is generate our character. To do this, head to Leonardo A through the link in the Google Doc. Once on here, he went to hit image creation in the middle of your screen. On this next page, we need to change a few settings before we start generating our image. Starting with the preset, you want to change the preset to Portrait Perfect. This is the best one for generating these sorts of images. Now the next thing you want to change are the image dimensions. Hit this More button, and on the next page, select TikTok. With all your settings in place, we can go ahead and start generating our character. Your prompt will obviously be different to mine, depending on who you are generating, but as I'm going to generate a witch, I'm going to ask the AI to draw a creepy old woman staring into the camera, lurking in a dark forest. Don't be afraid to generate multiple images, and to keep generating images until you find one you like. As you can see, it took me a few creations to find one I'm happy with. Once you find an image you're happy with, we need to upscale it. To do this, hover over the image until you find this upscale button. Once you found it, click it, and then click through on the next page. This will make our image more HD, which will make our animation better, which will make our video better. Once your image is upscaled, download it to your device. We can now move over to the next step. Real quick, I wanna talk about my school community. If you're stuck at 200 views, or just can't seem to go viral on TikTok, then this is the place for you. It's full of secret information that I won't have talked about on this YouTube channel. And it also contains a spreadsheet with over 100 nits is for you to try. Check it out in this video's description. With our Leonardo image done, we want to add some animation to it. In order to animate our character, we went ahead to this program called DID. Once on here, we want to hit create a video in the top left. On the next page, under avatar, you want to upload the image of our character. Once it's uploaded, click it. Now on this next page, we want to change their emotion to serious. 
With this done, we want to now hit this script tab and then hit audio. You now want to upload the 11 labs audio that we generated. That's all there really is to it, comma, once that's done, comma, hit generate video in the top right. This will obviously take some time, so I'll skip to when it is done. As you can now see, we now have a talking character to use in our video. If you're happy with it, download it, and we can move over to the next step. We now have everything we need for our video. All we need to do now is edit it all together. To do this, I will be using CapCut. Once you're on CapCut, you want to start by importing everything we gathered over the course of this video. The first thing we want to do is import the video that we animated and drag it onto the timeline like so. Now ID will have added audio to our video, so we don't need to import or edit anything with that. The next thing we need to do now is add some text to our video. Head to text the top left of CapCut. Once on here, you want to hit Auto Captions. On the next page, hit Generate. Now you may find these are a pro feature. If that's the case, don't worry. All you need to do is download an editor called VN, link in the Google Doc. Once your captions are generated, you want to select them all, and then head to the top right of CapCut. Once we're here, we need to hit on templates in order to edit our text really easily. Now as this is horror, I'm not going to pick one where there's a bunch of vibrant colors as it doesn't fit the theme. I'll instead go with this one that makes the text appear one word at a time, as I think this makes our video more engaging. With our text done, the next thing we want to do is add some effects to our video. To do this, head to effects in the top left of CapCut. Now the first effect that I recommend you guys add is this one called Fog. Once you've found it, just drag it over our video on our timeline. Now with this in place, we want to head to the top right and lower the atmosphere a bit so our video is less intense. I think this effect has turned out really well. The next one that I'll add will be this Firefly one. Once again, I'm going to add it onto our video like we did with the fog. With this in place, we also want to lower the atmosphere a little bit, just like we did with the fog. Obviously, you can play around with these sliders, but once you're happy, we can move over to the next step. The next thing that I'll add to our video will be a filter. Had to filters in the top left of CapCut, now there are loads to choose from, so I'm going to play around with a few until I find one I like. You can obviously do this and find one that matches your video. I found this one called Black Gold, and I think it looks really good. It is too intense, however, so I'm going to head to the top right of CapCut. Once I'm here, I need to click this filters dropdown and reduce the intensity of our filter. Once our filter is done, we finally want to add an adjustment to our video. Add to adjustment in the top left of CapCut, and on the next page, add a custom adjustment to our video. Once it's in place, drag out the slider so it covers the whole video. Now head to the top right, and the first thing that I'll do is lower the exposure slider a bit. This will make our video a bit darker, which will fit the horror theme. Once that's done, you want to scroll down further. Once you've found the slider that says vignette, you want to increase this to around 25. Our video is done now, so export it to your device. This is why you should never come to Adams, Tennessee. I was there long before the bells arrived. The land was mine, and John Bell's family disturbed what they didn't understand. At first I toyed with them, small things, whispers in the night, knocks on the walls. That's all for today's video. Remember to join my school community if you really want to take TikTok seriously. Bye.